Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Lupthier20 and welcome to my Minecraft world. For today's episode, we're going to be preparing to go to this stronghold. Now, in order to do that, we need to get some stuff like enchantments and our armor, tools. I'm talking about like mending, protection 4, sharpness, looting will be very, very useful. Especially for like ender pearls, blaze rods. That would be, ooh, that would be very, very useful right there. But yeah, aside from that, I also want to work on our nether base because we can make that look a lot nicer. And start having like a safer area to like walk to and from our portals because we kind of get shot by gas and skeletons way too often now i do think the best way to go around this as far as getting our enchantments go will be getting some villagers so let me get some sugar cane up and going here because that'll be very useful for like emeralds lecterns that sort of stuff and you know what speaking of like blaze rods and ender pearls okay we have seven and one ender pearl we need we need a couple more than that now do we have any lecterns around we should there it is i was about to say i should have some now i do know we have sharpness one here we need sweeping edge three and then what else do we need uh looting three sharpness five sweeping edge and knockback two that would probably be useful and then i need pretty much everything for our armor right here probably disenchant this and like get something better i'm gonna do that real quick ah look at that lapis i was a bit worried there like oh no do we have lapis but no we're good we're good i should probably make this area look a lot nicer too since i made like that little area down there nicer but we'll work on that a little later all right come on come on big money big money big money aqua infinity okay okay i'll take it man i still love my lighthouse down there just it looks so cool i'm proud of that i think that's like one of my best builds i've done yet besides my castle but i think as far as this world goes definitely my best build all right this will be the most annoying part right here just waiting for all the villagers to grow up so i'm gonna pre-place these lecterns here and then kind of just sit around a little bit wait for some stuff to happen probably make a sugarcane farm that would probably be very useful right there and by sugarcane farm i'm talking about like an automatic one so that way we don't have to like really do anything so let us do that real quick right now and this is what i'm talking about just open area i have so many gas just shoot at me like this is where all the fire's coming from skeletons spawn in here like look at that look at them you're looking at me funny i know you are all right let's see i'm gonna need some redstone Ooh. Ooh, we are hurting. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna need to get some more. You know, I thought I had a lot more than that originally, but it does give me a reason to go back down to my little ancient city here and just admire it. Just, oh, it looks so beautiful. Now, I should probably get a good few stacks here just to make sure I'm, like, well set off for the future here. Although, I do know me. I'm gonna use, like, pretty much all of it here soon. Now, I do know I will need to come down here one day and just start, like, rehauling everything and just kind of do, like, a home flipper tour right here. Ooh. Ooh, I almost fell into that lava. But as I was saying, just kind of like home flip everything just to make it look a lot nicer and just not so skulky, dark, bland a little bit here. You see, this is why I love the ancient city. It's just so many resources everywhere. You can just go up, down, left, right, no matter where you go. Just diamonds, redstone, gold, iron, everything you need. And I love it. Like, look at all those diamonds up there. Just, uh, I want to mine them right now, but priorities priorities my main priority right now is some redstone which we do have a good amount actually and how many do we have uh five stacks yeah five stacks so i think i'm gonna grab just a little bit more here and then probably head back okay that is my sign to get out of here i just ate the last bit of my food here and we got more than enough redstone i believe now let's see i need some iron if i want to make this we should probably make a couple more observer blocks as well. I think 20. Yeah, 20 will be more than enough. And then we do need to make some chests and some pistons. So let's do that real quick with the pistons. Uh, I think it's like this, if I remember correctly. And then we add one piece of iron and redstone. Yeah, okay. So let's do that real quick. We only need 20, which we will need. We will need some more wood. Okay. So I will be honest with you guys, I am going to start like a little pull for this, but I am thinking about doing a modded series. And I'm thinking about my first mod pack to be RL Craft, because I've been playing it a little bit here and there for the past couple of days, and it's a lot of fun. Like, I did not think I'd have a lot of fun on it, but I am. Now, as I mentioned, I will have some pulls set up like across my accounts. So please, if you don't mind, vote there. Or if you want to, like leave a comment down below or let me know like what other modern Minecraft series I should do. Like maybe Skyblock or uh, Stoneblock. Those are like the main ones that come to mind. Pixelmon is another one. I don't think that would be very fun solo though. 
you know, I really hope that I am making this correctly because I tried this the last few times and I messed it up where I had to like search it up online how to make a sugar cane farm. But I think it's like this, observers on the top, pistons on the bottom, and then a little like waterway system or hoppers to collect everything. All right, let's see if this works and whoo, it works. All right, I was a bit worried there, not gonna lie. So now all that's left is placing our sugar cane right here and then placing a little waterway system and some hoppers. Ooh, look at that. One of you grew up. Uh, not you. Is it you? No, not you. What are you? What are you? What are you? Ah, uh, just normal stuff. Okay, gotta fix that a little bit. Density 2? Oh, that's for the, uh, that's for the new mace weapon thing. I'm not gonna lie. I was about to say, ooh, looting 3. Okay, we definitely need that. But I was about to say, I don't have any mods. Like, why do I have that? Now, we do need 37 emeralds in order to buy that. I think I will also start doing, like, a raid one of these days. Just to make it a lot cheaper for, like, some of these prices here. Ooh, look at that. We got another adult. What do you got for me, buddy? What do we got? Power 5? Not bad. I can, I can get that easily, though. Uh, nothing there. Alright, let's just kind of cycle through everything then. Ooh, looting three for a better price? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Unbreaking two. We can get two of those, make unbreaking three, put that on every single piece of equipment. Ah, uh, yeah, we're getting good in chance now. Now, I think the last thing I want to do is get, like, protection because I don't want to, like, strive too deep into, like, getting every single book here. Well, all right, that will do it for this little area right here. I'm going to go get some farm crops, get some emeralds, and start enchanting some books. All right, so it looks like we only have 13 emeralds. I already harvested all my crops. I uh, should probably grab all my pumpkins as well. Let me sleep first, and then I'll do that. And let's see. Ah, oh, only eight? I thought we would have a lot more than that. Oh, well. We'll, we'll take it for now. All right. Let's see how many emeralds I'm going to get from this. Hopefully, hopefully a lot. Uh, we got 23 so far, 25, and 27. Not bad, not bad. We can get a lot more, though, so let me quickly do that. And that seems to be that. 34 emeralds. All right. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Now, on the plus side, we should be able to buy that book. Uh, not from you. Not from you. You would be good, but not right now. Uh, definitely not you. Which one is it? Oh, this one. Okay, let me buy that. And then we do have some leftover. Do we have unbreaking? Or not unbreaking, but can we buy the unbreaking? We can. We don't need it on the sword, though. Let's not waste, let's not waste the emeralds just yet. Uh, we will buy sharpness, though. Get sharpness. Sharpness 2 will be enough. Yeah, I think sharpness 2 will be enough for now. We're not really gonna go too, too far with that. All right, now we just do a little bit of combining the books here. That would be cheaper. And throw down our sword. My anvil broke. That's not cool. All right, fine. I'll have to replace my anvil now. All right, please don't break as fast as your other guy over there. Because that would be that would be a bit heartbreaking there. Although then again, we have an iron farm. So I don't know what I'm complaining about. All right, let's go get some ender pearls. I do believe there is a warped forest next to the crimson biome over here. Uh, where's the other tunnel? There it is. Well, I have yet to find a warped forest, but on the plus side, I'm getting a lot of glowstone. That would be very useful for my little, like, nether base. Because I'm thinking of, like, a glowstone and quartz. I think that would look very nice. You know, I really wish that the Soul Sand Valley had chances to have, like, nether warts grow on them. Because I swear, if I remember correctly, on the Xbox 360 days, it had a chance to have, like, nether warts in there. Like, on the Soul Sand itself. Because, I don't know, it's just somewhere in my mind, I remember that. And it was such a cool thing, because you didn't have to, like, rely on a nether fortress. Especially back then, like, you had a good chance of it not having any. You know, I would think I'm crazy, but I think this is another Bastion. And I think down here is some brutes and whatnot. And I think I should probably not be down here. Ooh, yeah, they do like a heart and a half of damage here. Oh, yeah, I'm running. Yep, nope, I'm out of here. Or actually, you know what? We got some pork chops. We should be fine if we cut them off. I did not mean to do that. I screwed up. I missed a big time. Yeah, I got some, uh, got some zombified piglins a bit angry at me. I didn't mean to. It's not my fault he walked straight into my sword. 
I'm just gonna look in these two chests, uh, see if there's anything good. Nothing really. Some arrows. That's pretty good, but that's about it. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's that's pretty good. But all right, that's enough of that. Ooh, we got an Enderman. Okay, uh, we might be a little close, probably not, but I hope we're close to Warp Forest because I definitely I want to be done and know what this little little adventure of ours. Man, I really really hate when Endermen do that. Just teleport everywhere and just. Ah, so annoying. We got three Ender Pearls. I think we should probably... Let's make it 12. I know we got one at home, so that's four. So let's make it 12. Nice even number there. All right, I think we can live through this. Ooh, okay. I gotta... Mm, I love playing it risky, but I gotta, like, not play risky sometimes, you know? Because there's a thing called too risky. So, uh, I may have accidentally messed up here. Uh, I knew I should have made a right turn at Albuquerque, and instead, I ended up back at my nether base. Which is, I'm not gonna lie, a little funny, but it's not that funny. Like, oh my god, uh, I can't believe I did that. Well, let's go a completely opposite direction then. Alright, we got another bastion here. Uh, again, not really gonna deal with this too much. Please don't die! Okay, whew. I am very thankful that on uh, Java Edition, at least, they had that, like, weird armor system thing that actually protects you from, like, fall damage without fitter falling. I don't know exactly how it works. Ooh, ooh, hang on. I think that's a warped forest. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see, let me see. Yep, that's a warped forest. Let's go. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't know exactly how it works, but I am very thankful for it. Ah, there's the first victim. You see, we got attacked from the sky. Just one, two, whee! Bonk. Oh, I missed. Come on, give me your eye. Give me your eye. Yeah, four inner pearls. All right, we got just a little more to go. Seven more to be specific. Hello, Mr. Angry Man. Gonna need you to give me yours. Six. All right, we just need five more. We're gonna need to heal up after this guy. And we should need three more as well, because we have eight and one at home. Just need to kill you now. I think Endermen are like one of my least favorite mobs to fight, especially if they catch on fire because it's like, oh my god, stop teleporting everywhere. But thankfully, this should be the last guy we need to deal with right here, so we can get this done and over with in a minute. Where'd he go? Ah, there you are. Come on. You mind coming here? Thank you very much. Oh, baby Hoglin. Goodbye, Hoglin. Well, he seems to disappear. Let me go find one more Enderman, and then we can head back home. There we go. Ooh, and we got more than enough. All right, let's head back home and start looking for this stronghold. Okay. Ooh, okay. Not gonna lie. Did not think it was gonna be that, uh, that far down. Uh, look what I see. I see my little staircase. That means we're near our base here. All right, gotta take a quick snooze in here, get my blaze rods, and I guess start looking for this stronghold. All right, guys, let us go on to an adventure. Where'd I go? That direction. Okay, let's go that direction. All right, let's see. Do we continue going? Yeah, we do. Okay, gotta go another couple hundred blocks this direction. No, why'd you break? You know, once again, I go out adventuring and I forget to bring a bed. Which I should really, I just, I need a mental note, just a sticky note here and there, just saying, hey, don't forget to bring a bed. Oh, you know what? I think this will work. I think this will work. We found what appears to be a village, at least a trail of one. Is there a village here? Because I'm not seeing it so far. Ah, here we go. Found the village. It's just a little higher up here. Thought it was like non-existent for a minute there. Ooh, we found a diamond. Oh, that is beautiful. I was not expecting that. All right, let's see. Do we continue forward? Ah, we do. Man, we should have found it by now. And you broke again. Ah, mmm. This is, this is just not my day. You know, if ocean monuments and ruins weren't a thing, I'd assume that was like a stronghold area, but I know better. I know. I know that's part of the ocean ruins that you can find in like the weird, like deep ocean biomes, but it's just a big glitch out here. Although that does not mean I'm not going to look inside here. Ooh, buried treasure map. Uh, do we want it? Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? Let's see what's there. So it seems like we gotta go this direction and then a little southwards. And then I think this direction is where we need to go. If I remember correctly how maps work. 
Yeah, I was correct. All right. Uh, we should probably sleep first because it is nighttime. And it will be a lot, a lot more difficult trying to see the treasure map and whatnot. All right. If my calculations are correct, they should be right here for the treasure. Please be correct. Please be correct. I might be a little off. Might be just a little off. Ah, there it is. I was just, like I said, just a little off. Uh, got some iron, gold, hard to see. Classic stuff, classic stuff. Don't really need the iron. Water breeding. Ooh, that would probably be useful. And the emeralds, that would definitely be useful as well. Alright, now we need to go back this direction because I think we kind of like ran so far away from where we're supposed to be. Ooh, actually, let me go quickly loot the village because I want to make sure we have enough food. We are almost out of carrots. Man, this is a pretty disappointing village, not gonna lie. Not really any food. We got some wheat right there. Nothing's really grown, though. Um, I did find some cows, though. That was that was a bit nice. Uh, we got some steak -aronis. So I think that will be more than enough for now. I just realized that is a uh, that is a ship. Let me see if there's any carrots or whatnot in you. Um, not. There it is. I was about to say, not seeing a chest. Wow. Oh, okay. Hang on. We might have actually found the stronghold. I uh, gotta go back this direction. Let me pick that up real quick, though. So it must be in between, somewhere between here and I guess over there. All right, let's see. Uh, that kind of went that direction. Okay, so we're getting close. We know it's between here and there now. Ah, you broke. But I do think it's around here though. Yeah, okay. Uh, just gotta go down here somewhere. You broke again, wow. Uh, but it seems like, okay, right here is where we need to be. Wow, three times in a row. Isn't it like a 1 in 12 chance or something like that? That is crazy how many times that broke right there. Oh, we found it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, um, where do we need to go? We should probably see what's inside the bookshelves here. See if there's any good books. Ooh. Ooh, we got some armor trims. Let's go. I love armor trims. I think they're so cool. You know, I have to say, I love the stronghold structure because it's just so easy to get, like, bookshelves and whatnot, making it a lot easier for, like, enchanting books or if you need books, you can just pop here, grab, like, a good stack and then just pop back to wherever you need to be. Now, I do have to say, I think my least favorite part about the uh, strongholds have to be the fact that, like, I have no clue where the, uh, where the end portal is. Like, this is the most annoying part of it all. Now, I will admit, I do understand that is the point of it. Just, you don't know where it is. Ooh, it's a maze. But it's just so annoying sometimes. All right, let's see what's inside this chest. And piercing. Eh, not really gonna worry about that, personally. You know, I do wonder with this texture pack and shader pack, if the armor trims, like, glow or not. That would be really cool. Oh no, I just realized I got rid of all the iron, so I don't have a flint and steel. Hmm, that's gonna be a small problem. I probably, probably shouldn't have done that. Ooh, amethyst bud. Well, let us hope that we find a... Ooh, okay. I forgot we're in hardcore mode and that can kill us if I got too close there. But let us hope that we find a chest with a piece of iron in it that will allow us to, like, continue progressing forward here. You know, I have to say, this is like one of the biggest strongholds I've ever seen. Like, it's so multi-layered that it's just not even funny at this point. Wait a minute. Hang on. I think I recognize this area. Yep. I, uh, I did it twice now, guys. I looped all the way back to the beginning of where I start from. You know, I hope that does not become like a standard thing for me where just I keep on looping back to the beginning of where I came from. Okay, I have no clue where to go now. I've been, like, pretty much everywhere, and I've yet to see the, uh, end portal. Oh! Wow! That would have been unfortunate if I did not run the air direction. Ooh, we got some slimes here. I think we can get some slime potions, if I remember correctly. I think that's part of, like, the new update here with the trial chamber and whatnot. Because I do remember seeing something about, like, armor stand method and a bunch of slimes can be spawned from them in a way. It's like some type of, like, weird automatic machine. Ah, there it is. Finally, it took, like, mining through everything. I heard zombies destruction. I was like, is there any anything over here? So I started breaking through, and finally, we found it. Oh, my. Mm, that took way too long. 
way, way too long. <gasps> oh, no, you are joking me. There's no mob spawner here. It just got broke because of the stronghold. Oh, wow, that that is really unfortunate. I mm, I think I've seen that once or twice before, but that's that's really unfortunate. That's a that's a little upsetting. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping that there was going to be like a mob spawner, specifically like a skeleton one. That would be really cool. Now, before we continue on with anything, I do want to get a portal built so that way we don't have to worry about, you know, trying to go back here through the overworld. Uh, I think that would be good. And we should have enough obsidian for all of this. And there you go. If I had a flint and steel, this would be this would be a lot cooler, but sadly it's not. But uh yeah, let's uh let's get some torches up and going here. Make it nice and pretty. And then we should probably get some iron and smelt it down. Also, probably find some wood as well. Ooh, hang on. Let me use my brain here for a second. There's wood in here. Yeah. And then we get some iron from the little cave systems that are nearby. Uh, let's see. What do we get rid of? Uh, get rid of... I was about to get rid of the flint. Um, we don't need obsidian. We're done with that. And then let's see. There should be a little cave system. I think... I think this direction is like somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, we got some iron right here. Perfect. And there you go. We got one iron. We can do this, that. There you go. And let's go find that portal once more again. All right, let's light that portal. Ooh, looks so beautiful. And I guess while we're here, let's kind of place the rest of the eyes here besides the last one we need. So we need four. Okay, uh, we can do that. Well, all right, we got our portal lit. All we have to do now is go through it, get the coordinates, go kind of back and forth, and then we can just go into the end when we're ready. Now, let's see, how far away are we? Actually, we're not that far away. It's like somewhere this direction, I believe. But let me write this down so I don't forget real quick. You know, again, I love doing this. Just bridging across lava platforms. Just nothing can go wrong right here. Besides the gas that's just staring right at me over there. Ah, there's our beautiful nether base right here. I know I said I was going to like improve upon it this episode. But I think after like all that adventure and just trying to locate the little like end portal area. I think I'm a bit ready to call it quits here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit I'm a bit drained from Minecraft at the moment. But overall, I'd say we did pretty good so far. You know, we got some enchantments, we found the stronghold, we found the end portal, we got like a little nether portal between them now. And we also made a sugar cane farm, which I think will be very useful, especially for like getting paper and just more books in the future. And we also got some slime balls, which if I remember correctly, like I said, I think we can use them for like making more slimes and just making a lot of XP with some armor stands and whatnot. I gotta like, I gotta relook into that. But yeah, before I completely end it off here, I will say once more again, I will have like a poll set up so that way you guys can be like, hey, uh, do some more modded series or recommend me some modded series or just say, nah, we don't want to see any of that. That's, that's just too boring. Just let me know what you want to see. But all right, awkward ending aside, we're going to call it quits right here. So if you guys still like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And without the way, this has been Lifted20 signing off. Bye-bye.